This video is going to be really important. It's going to have 10 ChatGPT prompts. I've been using ChatGPT for a while now, right? Everyone has six months or so. But in this video, I'm going to go over 10 ChatGPT prompts that really work for SEO. If you want to increase your website's traffic, if you want to make your life easier, consider these. I'm going to jump into them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just roll through them. If you, if you need to pause the video, do that. That's cool too. And listen, if you have any questions, maybe in the comments, shoot out some questions. The whole community here is growing. We have 10,000 subs on this channel already. It's only been a couple months. So if someone has a cool, you know, SEO prompt, a chat GPT prompt, shoot them down. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Anyways, let's jump into it. So credit where credit's due, right? Uh, Hamish, he has this channel called Income Stream Surfers. He recently did a video that gave us an idea of this cool Discord channel where you can go and get SEO chat GPT prompts. They have other ones too, but this is one of the ones I got from there. So I'll move this down. Here we go right there. So from a keyword, create a content plan. So this is based upon a content plan. I basically said uh, the keyword is kite surfing and OBX. And look here, if you need a content plan, this spits out a really, really detailed um, content plan. You can get ideas like maybe you didn't think of, ooh, okay, the spots, the different waves, the description features, ideal wind conditions. We can do anything here. Let's let's try a different one. Let's try um, the keyword is golden retrievers. Let's just see there. Let's see what it spits out. So from a keyword, create a content plan for every topic and subtopic. So we're going to start off. It says introduction to golden retrievers. Um, blah blah blah. All that. Golden Retriever breeds and varieties. Awesome. American Golden Retrievers, characteristics and traits, caring for them, training and behavior, um, health and wellness, activities and sports. So the purpose of this content plan is just to get your brain going. Just, just get, you know, the juices flowing. Um, you can back this up with data through Ahrefs or, or Google's Keyword Planner. But this first prompt is really useful to get the brain going now this next one's pretty cool so we have amazon here right we have some fishing tool you know bait caster or whatever this is bait casting reel what we can do we can take you know about this item check this out let's copy it and we can take it let's push it down here i already did a little bit so what it says is create a list right of, of five seo keywords related to the following product include lsis to consider so we can just push this in here and let's see what it comes up with so all right off the bat, super simple. It gives us salt water, bait casting reel, all metal body, and the LSIs look high grade aluminum reel. It takes what Amazon has, what someone is selling, and it breaks it down for you, what you need to focus on when you're writing this article. If you're doing an article like a best of the 10 best, you know, bait casting reels for salt water use, well, this gives you a really, really key idea on what you need to include to rank higher. So this next one's cool. We're gonna use one of my experimental websites. So this is called Bonsai Mary. I'll show you this. Um, just a bunch of indoor plants and bonsai articles. Nonetheless, here's an article made with our tool, the uh, quick article workflow, pretty nice. Um, has internal links and we push YouTube videos there too. But what we're able to do, let's say we grab all of this stuff, right? Just grab the whole thing. And we can take it over here. It says paraphrase the content below to make it communicate to an 18 year old without any formal knowledge of jargon or previous understanding of this topic. Make it one paragraph, three sentences. It straight to the point. Well, it's not going to make it one paragraph, three sentences, but it's going to get to the point. So what we can use this for, check this out. When you create an article, especially when you're trying to go for high ranking SEO traffic, right? You're trying to make it better and better. You need to get to the point. You need to make that first portion of your article super honed in. So if we scroll up here, you need to make this first portion right up here very, very relevant to the search. If they're asking about bonsai display tables and stands, well, you need to answer their query and tell them why you're the best, right? Um, and you're the best because you can explain it the best. Nonetheless, um, here's a great way to do it. You'd have to whittle this down a bit. It says bonsai is a special Japanese art. Probably not doing that, but displaying bonsai trees is an important part of the art and bonsai display tables are just used for this purpose. That's good. These tables are stand. Stands are designed platforms where bonsai trees are placed to be seen better. They come in different sizes, shapes, and materials. This is really good. Choosing the right table display or stand is crucial because it can enhance or detract from the tree's beauty. Factors to consider include size, material, weight, capacity, and aesthetics. So what we're doing, we're, we're basically giving the user exactly what they want in the front portion. We front load the article, front load your article with value. Always give the user value right off the bat and make it in plain English, very simple. And oftentimes this will win you snippets 
on Google search results as well. So this next one's super cool. Check this out. This is bopple.com. We did some experiments here. I think we posted 250 articles right off the bat, but look at this. This is the key takeaway. So it looks nice, right? But if you go behind the scenes, this is what it looks like. This is the key takeaways. It's just a table, right? Not hard to do at all. And to, in order to get this information, all you have to do in ChatGPT is say, create a key takeaway table with one column, condensing the following information in the article. And, and basically took the bonsai stuff previously. And here you go. All you have to do is copy this in, right? Into here, boom, into a table. And you have a condensed key takeaways. So if you combined the last strategy I showed you with this strategy, you're providing so much value off the bat. So make sure to do key takeaways table if you, if you deem it necessary for your articles. So this next one's super cool. Um, it comes from this website called writesonic.com. They have 37 best ChatGPT prompts. I look through them and they have one on backlinks. It's, it's pretty darn good. So check it out. This is what it does. So write a list of things to do uh, for a perfect backlink strategy to rank for the keyword. Type in your keyword here and write a list of websites to reach out. So this first portion up here, it's going to give us a keyword. It's going to tell us what to do first off before we start reaching out. Keyword research, all page optimization, basically write a great article, uh, internal link. And these are things we talk about in the masterclass, how to do them, high quality content, guest blogging, resource link building, so on and so forth. But down here, it actually gives us ideas on what forums and articles or excuse me, websites to reach out, saltwater fishing forum, bass research uh, resource forum, stripers online forum, field and stream. So not bad, pretty good prompt. If you don't understand what backlinking is, that's a good one to, to get a tutorial on how to do it, give you a high level idea. So now this is getting a little technical, but look at what this is. Just take a moment to look. Keywords, guideline URL. Do you know what this is yet? These are websites where you can purchase backlinks from, right? And what we can do with this next prompt is basically take, let's just take a few of them, 17 of them. And let's ask ChatGPT which ones we should consider for backlinks, right? And which ones we should not. Because if you purchase toxic backlinks, like you saw in one of my previous videos, it can really hurt your website. Nonetheless, let's go to ChatGPT. Let's do a new chat. Let's type these in and let's just ask it. Let me click over here. Let's ask it the prompt. Which of these websites should I consider for purchasing a backlink from? So look, it's going to give us exactly which to consider and which to avoid. Now, if it says avoid, I would definitely avoid. Um, but just because it says yes, it doesn't mean go for it. Um, but what this does, it's very interesting. ChatGPT has a reserve of knowledge, right? It can pull from knowledge from, from years ago. Uh, February, was it 2021 and before? So if it's thinking that it's a reputable source, well, we know that it's pulling from years of experience. Maybe it's a good signal. So this is usually my first step in deciding whether or not purchasing a backlink from a particular blog is a good idea. Pretty cool though, right? Look, it says digitaljournal.com, consider yes. Digital Journal is an online news magazine. So pretty darn cool. It says get uh, in topic.com is to avoid. Um, is primarily a software download website and purchasing backlinks from such a site is generally discouraged as they may not provide genuine editorial value. Search engines have become increasingly adept, adept at identifying penalizing paid links that do not adhere to their guidelines. Okay, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now this next one's cool too. So I use um, a tool called Buzzstream, super good for outreach, but this prompt, check this out. So write a succinct, friendly, creative outreach email, pitch in a guest post for bonsai plants, come up with five, topic suggestions as well. So the point here is if you know there's there's other websites in your space, whatever your niche may be, you can outreach. You can say, look, I'm an expert in this and I'd love to do a guest blog for you and you can get a natural backlink that way. So it says, hello, I hope this email finds you in great spirits. My name is, you know, and I'm a passionate bonsai enthusiast and blogger. It's really nice. Um, I'm reaching out to you because I'd love to contribute a guest post to your blog specifically on the captivating world of bonsai. So then it says, here's five ideas, the art of bonsai journey into miniature landscape. So it even gives a description of what it would be about. And what happens is these, these people on these websites will look at it. And if they're interested, they'll reach back and say, Hey, that sounds great. Let's do number three. Let's do this one here. Let's do advanced techniques, taking your bonsai to the next level.
So use this one if you're not very good at backlinks. Put some time into this. If you're if you have traffic on your website, if you're getting some traction, it may be time to push some backlinks to it so that you can um, hyper boost it a little bit more. This next one is massive, right? This one's crazy. So let me make sure the screen is good. So it says, imagine you are starting a new online business selling whatever it is. I say fishing rods and develop a comprehensive, all of this stuff. I'm not going to read it here. You can check it out in the description, but look, this is intense. This is, this is what SEOs get paid to do like an SEO audit or like a game plan. Do this to your website, right? This is like a very base level SEO game plan. Uh, develop a comprehensive keyword strategy. Do this. Understand your target audience. Do these things. Brainstorm primary keywords, right? This is all correct. Use keyword research tools, SEMrush or Ahrefs. Analyze competitor keywords, long tail keywords. Look at this. Lightweight fishing rods for freshwater fishing. That's a perfect long tail keyword. Crazy, right? Uh, a content plan, on-page optimization. But look, it gets interesting. Sample primary keywords. This is all correct. All of that is correct. Sample long tail keywords. Affordable saltwater fishing rod for beginners. That is literally a perfect long tail keyword. Content plan, write these things. Great. Look at it. It gives you 15 articles optimizing on page elements, what to do for URL structure, internal linking, and then it gives you a recap. Not bad for like two seconds of work, right? So this next one coming up is number nine. And listen, the number 10 ChatGPT prompt I have is it's it's kind of like magic. It's it's You'll see, you'll see. So check this one out and then we'll jump to the next one. So this here is super cool. It says, create an informational table that highlights the top 10 LSIs, uh, latent semantic index, and for the keyword healthy recipes. So basically what it does for healthy recipes, it says, look, clean eat-in, search volume is 12,000, competition medium, relevance to healthy recipes is high. Um, so basically what this is telling us out of all of these things, uh, clean eating, gluten-free, vegan, low carb. It's telling us the words that need to be included in the article. If you want to rank higher, you need to have LSIs. You do it naturally most of the time, but this gets your brain going on what you could consider for it as well. So let's just take it one more time. Check this out. Let's come down here. Let's do, let's say fishing rods for fresh water. And let's see how it does too. So spinning rod, bait casting rod, fly rod, ultra light rod these are all perfect like so good and it makes super good sense that a uh, spinning rod is the top one that's what people use the most baycraston is a second so for me it makes sense like it, it, it makes sense chat is not making up things here necessarily i i think search volume is a made-up one but the hierarchy like this one has more relevance than this one looks good to me so the last ChatGPT prompt I'm going to show you is how you can replicate what I've done here, how you can take what I have and make your own prompts. It's super cool. But before I do that, check this out. So I have a master class I wanted to tell you about. So Jesse Cunningham SEO. I teach you exactly what I do for my clients, right? We have a firm. We have an agency. Uh, right here, this is 20 blog posts in a highly competitive niche within two months. The numbers look even better, right? So that was a huge amount of traffic. And I'll show you exactly how I do these things. So all you do is come down here, click on the master class, check it out. And people, I appreciate you, Eric and ProHerd. People are, are saying nice things about the masterclass. They've, they've gone through it. It's fresh and it's being updated all the time. I have the Maverick method within it. So the Maverick method is a very defined methodical approach to SEO and how you build out the actual structure to a uh, article. It matters if you want to rank on Google, you need to know this. And then we also have this, the quick article workflow, where you can type in a keyword here, uh, create your style, article length, and create article. So we have a lot going on, but let's jump into how to create number 10. In my opinion, the best ChatGPT prompt there is. This next part takes a little bit of finesse. Um, so I'm going to say here are a bunch of SEO ChatGPT prompts that I've created. And then we're going to put them in parentheses. So take them from the description, push them here. It's all nine of them. Look, all nine of them. And then you say, do you understand? We don't want ChatGPT to do anything yet. That's going to say, yeah, I got it. All right. Create a new SEO uh, ChatGPT prompt to uh, enter a keyword and get a very defined meta description, page title, introduction, 
and content plan and subsequent content plan. I'm just wrapping here. Like I, I don't, this is just off the top of my head. Let's just see how it does. So look at that. It's given us exactly what we need here. So prompt example output. Nice. Okay. So let's take this. You are building a website and need assistance with optimizing your content. Provide the keyword you want to target and I'll generate. All right, let's just see if it works. For fishing rods. Let's see. Very nice. So the point is, if you have a little bit of imagination, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty darn good. Not bad at all. So this is the one that it just spit out based upon its the point is you can take all nine of them and wrap them together and say, look, these are examples of what I have. Can you make a new one? And can you make it for X, Y, Z? If you have a need, why not use chat GPT to do it for you, right? Test around because it could save you hours of time. So anyways, if you like this, please make sure to subscribe, like it, share the video. And um, yeah, I'll check you on the next one.